We bolted from the shed, leaving the two ghouls frozen in ice. The skeleton signaled for us to follow him across the moonless graveyard. As we picked our way through the darkness past all the open graves, breathing in the stench of the dead, I couldn't help smiling to myself. I couldn't imagine Charles ever being nice to Dixie. He was so rude to her, but then she was rude back. What kind of friendship was that? Why couldn't they talk to each other without arguing? Suddenly, my mind was on high alert. I don't know what it was, a sound perhaps, or a shadow falling on the path beside me, but I suddenly knew we were being followed. I flicked a glance over my shoulder. Nothing, no sign of danger anywhere, but I still felt a ghostly presence, and it was growing stronger with every step I took. My skin was crawling with terror. I knew it wasn't the ghouls. They'd been frozen to death by now. So who or what was following us, watching us? The skeleton had said something about all the horrors of Halloween being upon us, but I couldn't begin to think what what he meant. I mean, we'd seen so many horrors already. Enough horrors to last me a lifetime. What else could be lurking in the graveyard? Charles was still sneezing, and every sneeze was louder than the one before. If we'd hoped to escape silently, Charles was making that impossible. I caught my death of cold. Charles croaked between sneezes. I was frozen to the bone by the ice. It's all your fault, Dixie. No one else's fault but yours. It was your idea to come here. Dixie shot him an angry look. Charles, can't you sneeze without making so much noise? Again, I had the feeling of being followed, but this time I was right.